In this video, I will show you how to use normal map for textures and textiles and knits, specifically for knits, so you can express the texture of a hand knitted sweater, for example, or something that has a lot of raised surface, like a cable on a knitted sweater, for example. So I have pulled up file 28 uh, because it has a big sweatshirt that we can utilize for that, but you can obviously do that on any file you like. Um, next, I am going to um, uh, search in the internet or in your database for a good swatch that represents exactly the knit that I want to do. And also make sure that uh, you can create a good repeat out of the swatch that you have. For example, here I'm ending on the cross, crisscross of the knit, and here I'm ending on the side too. Um, you don't want to end in the beginning of the cables here and then in the middle. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that it matches really well. Next, I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to open that file. So here I have it in a designated folder, which I've called clothes swatches for knits. I have another one for uh, prints or other um, textiles, swatches, whatever you like. So I'm going to open that swatch in Photoshop. And now I'm going to go to Filter, 3D, and then Generate Normal Map. Again, Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map. That's going to bring up a pop-up menu. And you're going to see that this is going to change color. Here, you can change the shape of how you want to see the texture. It, doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep it as a sphere. It's more important now to take a look at how raised is the texture that you're looking at. And if it helps you to see it in a um, different um, shape, then that's fine. Um, so maybe that can give you a better idea of what this looks like. I'm going to keep it as a sphere for now. More importantly, you want to take a look at the contrast details on the right side. You want to take a look at the low, medium, and high, and you can uh, change that percentage. I'm going to type 20 instead of 10 and see how it changes here. Here on the medium, I'm going to type, let's say, 30, and just carefully watch how it changes here. Here, I'm going to go a little lower to see what it looks like. If not, I'm also going to go a little higher and see how much texture you would like to have for the contrast details. When you're happy, you can click OK. And then you will see that become much more textured. Next, you want to save this file. File, save as. And you want to choose a JPEG. I'm going to choose JPEG for this and give it a name uh, different than your actual swatch because that's your normal map and it's going to appear in this color. So I actually created a second folder in my knit swatches that is called normal map knits and I'm going to use the same name so I remember what it is but I'm just going to give it a uh, NMP for normal map or you can call it whatever you like. But I want to keep it at least the beginning of the file exactly the same so I know which swatch does it correspond to because we will use both in Clow. So when you're um, happy with your name, just click OK, save it in there, choose the quality. I'm choosing maximum quality so I have really good quality for the swatch. Click OK. And then we can go to Clow. So in CLO, open the file that you like to work with, then go to the Object Browser and Property Editor. Make sure that both of them are open. Select the pattern pieces where you want to apply the knit. And the next thing we would also do is we will go to the library. We need to overlay some good fabric here that at least corresponds to a knit to begin with before we overlay the texture. So we're going to go to Fabrics. And then I am going to look for a rib knit. Uh, you could pick something that's a knit, for example, but they're not very textured. So if you take a look at the knit, you could start with that too. Uh, this one has very mild, a very soft texture. I want something that has more pronounced texture to begin with. So I'm going to come to rib and take a look at the swatches here. 
this is a good start. It's a one by one rib, means that um, it looks exactly um, the same from rib to rib. You can also choose, um, this one is very small. I don't like the rib. This one is a two by two, means that there's two raised and two um, lower. Uh, that could be another one. I feel that for my purposes, this looks better. I like the one by one. So I'm going to double click on that so it appears in the object browser and then select the pattern piece and assign that. Obviously, you can um, change the color for this. And uh, for the texture, you might have to desaturate first. So let me close library so we have more space here to see it. So I selected the swatch here. Make sure that you're in the front of the material. Then come to texture. If it's not fully open, make sure you open it. And especially when you have dark colors, you can't always just overlay a light color on top of it. You need to desaturate. So click on desaturate. That makes this um, as light as possible with no color. And now you can come and give it the color that you like. For example, um, let's say this teal color, that's fine for now. I'm gonna click OK. Now we can come and work with the textures in the map. So we can close this now. So under texture, we have what is the normal setting for this one by one rib. What I want to do is I want to bring my own texture. So I'm going to left click here on the four little squares. That's going to take me to the folder where Clo designated its own particular texture. I want to bring my own texture. So I'm going to come to wherever you have your swatches saved. Mine are under Clo swatches, knits. That's why it's really important to be organized and know where all your swatches are. And the one that I designated that I chose was this one, double cable knit. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click open. And that's going to give it this uh, cable knit. And again, it's keeping the color. If you're not happy with this color, obviously you can change the color. And let's make it more of a cream color so we can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to go into a very light uh, cream color. Just click OK on that. And now I can see that Clo created the repeat for me. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to bring the normal map, the texture that we created. So we're going to come to normal map and we're going to click on this one. Left click right here on the four little squares. And now we're going to bring the normal map that we created. Again, remember where you save that. I save mine under close watches knits, normal map knits. And that here now, it's important to remember um, which file did you choose. That's why I'm giving them the same exact name, just adding NMP for normal map. I use the double cable. So I will come to double cable NMP. Click open and now watch the left side in close 3D how that's going to change when I bring this up and see how this became a lot more textured. And now it truly looks like a cable knit. So again, you can come back now and change the color. Another thing that you can do, I'm going to close this window here is if you wanted to change and I'm just going to go to 3D altogether. If you want to change the rotation, you want to change the scale, remember that you can always come to edit texture, select the pattern piece you want to work with, and here you can work with the scale, make it larger, smaller. You can also change the vertical or horizontal um, rotation or the scale. For example, I like mine to be a little bit wider. And you can also rotate and choose a different um, direction for your knit. And continue assigning textures, textiles for your sweater, however you like. And this was how we used normal maps to create additional texture, especially for knits.